Do a little race off. Potential training for the Grand Prix. The driver moves, but it's your big Grand Prix. Oh, are they choosing what um, ones they use? No? They're definitely training for it. Competitive things. I wonder if, um, I might have said this before, but I wonder if the Grand Prix is going to be the big finale event or if it's going to be like a mid season thing and then there's going to be something else. Uh, identify an object. A UFO, if you will. It's purple. Is it? Ooh. Is it who we think it is? We'll never know. So, of course, this is the Butte Violet episode. Um, I've been waiting for this. I love a sixth ranger. I love a purple ranger. Wasn't too sold on the suit to begin with, but maybe maybe we'll change this. And hopefully the actual character is great as well. I don't even know what his name is. I've tried to not look into anything. Uh, so, yeah. Got smacked up again, though, bro. Seen better days. Also, happy birthday to um, Joe. Apparently it's that actor's birthday today. It's a match. So it's a Bune Bune car. Who would have thought? It did pick up a object. Remember X-Fable, didn't we find out there was something else though? To be fair, Cannonborg is um, purple. So I wonder if there's any correlation there. I still don't know if Bune Violet's gonna be evil or not. Obviously we've got that evil changer, but um, for like the evil mech but I believe that his changer is like a big like steering wheel control pad thing so I don't know just straight away Bune Diesel and not Bo what an introduction just there <laughs> so we're calling him Bune D then Bune Diesel you know what oh, it doesn't look that bad in mo like actually in episode I still don't know how I would like whether it'll clash with the main suit. I wonder if there's any actual correlation with them because, like, Bune Diesel is clearly a Bune Bune vehicle. And he's clearly just said he's a delivery man as well, he's gonna deliver something. But there he is! Bune Violet for the first time! Still don't know what his name is. Did Bune Diesel say what his name is? I don't know. Ooh. Brother. Has he got like super speed or something? He is a good looking fella, to be fair. Look at that, look at that hair, with a purple streak in it. Let's start at the top. Definitely be a bit of rivalry then, maybe not evil, but... Is he gonna save her? Hey, Spider-Man up in you! Smooth. Don't know if he's got nothing on Genba yet, but he's... <laughs> Why does Gemba know him? No, maybe not. Do you reckon he knows that they're the Bune Bungers? And that's why he just so happens to be around each time. Oh, can he speed away as well? I thought maybe he had, like, human powers. Here we go. This is what really counts when he faces off a tyre. Oh, he knows! Do you reckon they know each other? Yes, I think that's the changer. Why are you showing up meddling with my team? Or maybe no. I need to just wait and see realistically. I want to know. Oh, bro! Scraps are cooing! To, to his expectations. What do you think you've won? Surely he knows him then. Bro, it's a crossbow. That's sick. This is going to be his traversal like machine, isn't it? Homer Sakito. Sakito Sakito. I'm going to rewind that, just for a sec, because I want to get that name, because I want to remember it. Homero Sakatoa! So we go. So maybe Sakatoa is what he's going to be called? Because they're all like, something tire, you know. And yeah, a Boom Boom controller! So, uh, Boom knows what it is. And it's clearly something of importance. Well, clearly it can, you know. Oh wait, maybe he is reporting to them! What the fuck? They're delivering to him. I just love a purple ranger, man. I know I'm not a big, I'm not, I'm not completely sold on the yellow trim, but I love a purple. <laughs> More decorations. Bune Diesel look really sick as well. I love the helmet. I wondered if Bune Diesel is like the base of his own as well. 
and then the other older ones that the Bean Bean's already got can combine with him. So he's not a delivery man, but he's a he's like a like a cleaner. Head of the Hashirian. I thought we were gonna get a name drop then. What? Hey yo. Part reflector. Is that a reference that I don't know? It's a sword as well. Oh, is the sword covered? I surely he just used his weapon, like, could not make a villain out of it. Sword. <laughs> it's a speed boost, one of the big Grand Prix. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be an add on then. <laughs> What's he like, eh? What's he like? Causing scenes. It's a sick uh, villain design, in fairness. Ripping up that gasoline. Here we go. Something tells me that the man whose name I've already forgotten is going to show up. Psychoto? Was it Psychoto? I love it! These might be my favourite people on Power of the Earth, you know. Every week when I come back for a new episode, I'm just like, just gassed up every time. I love this. Oh, I love it when they just don't repeat the same, like, cutscenes every time. Oh, he's just got a full ricochet on him. Black Panther style. An inflatable tyre? Fair enough, that's a creative way. I like that they're still able to switch it up, even though we're like 15 episodes in. I know we're going to end up with like 50, but... There he is. Oh, I didn't even clock that. Um, Cannonball hadn't met him officially. <laughs> Yeah, so that's yeah, that's what I was thinking earlier. I was like, we know it was we know it was Cannonball, but they never never met him. Oh bro. Oh my that was an episode. That broke me. Nice, let's go. There he is. Yeah man. Oh did they not recognise him without him being morphed? First morph, first session. <laughs> like I just sat on the beauties. Hey yo. To be fair, obviously Tyre's first ever morph in the series was like that one. Might have topped it just a little bit. I'm interested to see what his like preset morph is. From before. <laughs> Go on, lad. But he is fighting the bad guy, the Hirish alien. Where does he stand? He's clearly like an anti-hero. Go off, King. I'm vibing to this music. I didn't. I realised I didn't really say a lot of doing that. I just I was having a good time. Real rapid fire. Jesus Christ. Man's got arsenal behind him. Oh, bro. Fully just his Mario Kart, isn't it? To the highest extreme. That's the four we kept seeing. Oh, man's just got a full finisher setting. Love it when it's just like a game controller as well. You know it's serious and you get that just moment of silence. <laughs> nice. You know, this is my only thing, he doesn't really look like... Like, the, not that he's necessarily has to, but he doesn't really match the team colour scheme wise. But that's fine, you know, it is what it is. He wants to meet Bune. Okay, so they know each other. Fair enough. It's an age that doesn't even feel like 20 minutes. Oh man, how long until... So oh, I forgot his name again, Sakai, oh is he? He's in there. Ooh. <laughs> Not gonna hire me. Zold stuff with Bune Diesel. Something about exercise and weights. Dun dun dun. So it looks like he's not joining the team for a while. Well, that was episode 16 of What Could Have Been Bune Munja. I mean, we love a sixth ranger. I was waiting for this episode. Finally got it. 
that was super cool. Um, I was captivated, like I said, I didn't realise it was ending when it did. Um, usually you can't do that. Also, this is Chuck. Say hello. Chuck Doris. <laughs> I wonder if anyone noticed the moustache for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will be back next week, of course, with the next episode of Boom Boonja. This one was a little bit late, I apologise. I've been very busy the last couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, very excited to see how this continues. Can't wait to see uh, Boom Violet eventually join the team. And uh, yeah, thanks again. I'll see you very soon. Thank <laughs> you.